Thanks for staying with us this hour. I'm Doug Reardon. And I'm Janice Allen. Cemeteries in West Michigan are full of history, and one woman in Union City is dedicating her time to help preserve one. Our Lauren Coomer tells us about her efforts to clean up gravestones at Riverside Cemetery. There are over 6,000 headstones at this cemetery, and Bobby Mathis says her and other volunteers have cleaned close to 2,000 of them in the last four years. Bobby Mathis used to spend some of her time at Riverside Cemetery in Union City running. When you get to running around the cemetery, you notice you can kind of take it in and you're, you're kind of familiar with where things are at and you've lapped so many times around it. Then one day she noticed some of the stones had been vandalized and wanted to do her part to fix them. So everything kind of collided with this, the vandalism. I said, well, now I feel like that something needs to be done. Now, instead of just passing through, she spends time at strangers' grave sites cleaning them. You get out here and you can't even see what some of these say. They've been lost to history for for years, hundreds of years, and the cleaning has just made all the difference in the world. And she's not the only one. She started a group back in 2017 called Saving Graves, and other local volunteers have joined in to help. You get caught up in it, I guess. You just get so you, you've made such a, you make such a dramatic difference. That cleaning makes such a dramatic difference from on an unreadable stone to all of a sudden you have this history. In addition to cleaning the stones, Mathis is getting to know the people's backgrounds and will eventually publish a book detailing who they were. Every cemetery, everybody has a story. And when you start digging into the stories, that's when the people start coming to life and you get to know those individuals and what they've accomplished or how hard of a worker they were or what they were about. Mathis says if you or someone you know is planning to go out to a cemetery to clean headstones, she encourages you educate yourself before going to do so, as well as to get permission from the cemetery. Reporting in Union City, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News. She's right, everybody's got that story. Yeah. Interesting stuff.